and that is why two is better than one. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Cover Band Confidential Podcast, the podcast where cover band musicians and band leaders to learn how to rock more and suck less. Here in Atlanta, Georgia, I am Adam Johnson. Here in Greensboro, North Carolina, I'm Dan Ray. It's a special occasion, isn't it? It is. Yeah. The specialist. So, guys, this is the annual distraction cast where uh, we decide that um, it's enough to talk about the things that we've been talking about, and it's time to talk about something different. Yeah. And uh, in order to do that effectively, we have brought on uh, the best people that we can think of. So uh, I will go ahead and let Dan uh, introduce uh, his side, and then I will introduce Mike. Mike is my side. Welcome to my side. <laughs> Are we like paddling or something? I don't know. I don't. I was unprepared for you know combat. Uh, yeah, it's all the way from uh, the pork tornadoes. It's Mike Schulte. Welcome back, Mike. Good to be back. Yeah, yeah. Great to have you, man. Great to have you. And coming all the way from upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> my wife. My wife. He's real. I am real. Amber Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. But mostly gentlemen, because we know who we're dealing with. I live in a house full of quote unquote gentlemen. So, so what's what's a podcast? At what's a point? podcast? Right. Is it safe to say this will be the most viewed uh video podcast of all time because there's a woman on it? Oh, quite likely. Quite be. likely. I will say the episode that um Amber was on before and we weren't doing video at the time is one of our most downloaded. See? So yeah. See? Most of that's that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flattered. You should be. Yeah. <laughs> should be. That was a really good episode. So how's everybody doing? You know I would say surviving. Get, yeah, getting along. We're not quite thriving. We're we're surviving. Thriving. Every, not every, thriving. <laughs> every day is a is a day where I wake up and I go, how can I radically change my life? Because I'm not happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems to be what happens lately. And then I go through that, like, well, I could like go work on a coal mining ship. Uh, you know, like if that's even a thing, I don't know. But I'm starting to Google it to find out if that's a thing, so I can go do it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I started doing yoga again because it was just like, I need some some space in my brain. Yeah, that is, you know, filled with existential dread. Yeah, of the you, repetition of life. I, I also tried to get back into the yoga. It fades and comes and goes. But do you meditate as well? I try to. Um, I find that uh, it makes the uh, the experience a lot more pleasant towards the end. Um, now we have, uh, is, we're getting a little into the things we like thing. Uh, we have the Calm <laughs> app and um, yeah, yep. I talked about it before doing like the, the bedtime stories and stuff, but uh, there's also like daily, they have one called the daily Calm. It's like a five to 10 minute mm -hmm. kind of whatever. Um, and for those of us who have uh, anxiety issues, there's also an SOS <laughs> meditation That's good. where it's like, the world is not on fire. Oh, whoa. Maybe you are not on fire. That is handy right now. All and is I know <laughs> Your breath is bringing you home. Yes. Oh, my God. Let's, I like that. Listen. Ah. My company just... Um, shout out to... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, shout out to the Com app. Yeah, my company just signed us, um, gave us all free access to um, Headspace, which is a similar thing. I, yeah. I haven't gotten into whoa. it, but in principle, yeah. Okay. They tried it's to, worth it. Yeah. 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 I've, I've actually had a pretty solid meditation practice at times in my life. I, I don't right now, but boy, now that you mention it, it works, man. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I find if, if I can stay in that, in that lane, uh, my, my days go better. For sure. For it, sure. I, I can put it to the test this year where you do it for a while, then you don't and things mm -hmm. just get worse and then you do it and it brings, I mean, it is true as can be meditation and yoga and combinations of that will, will help write you. That is a hundred percent true. Yeah. 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 I, I, I will be getting up early tomorrow and doing mine because we have a gig tomorrow. Oh yeah. Oh. Hello. Yeah. I, I feel like a geriatric musician at this point. I'm terrified that I'm going to be winded, you know, five minutes in you go from doing, you know, three hour sets, uh, super, super high energy to, you know, going, I don't, I don't know if I can actually <laughs> sing an entire song. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I had the. Oh, go ahead. I find that a lot of that stuff comes come, it was just there in my muscle memory, but stamina wise, yes. by by the second hour, yeah. I'm like, wow. Um, yeah, and and actually, the last <laughs> last one we played, I got a like a guitar hand cramp, and was it was miserable. My last couple songs, I just couldn't handle, and um, yeah. So that's real. Yeah. That's real. I don't I don't know what to tell you about tomorrow, but 
Um, That's not super encouraging. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but mm-hmm. uh, you should just go in yeah. prepared because I... The next day, yeah. I'm going to have to feel like I got hit by a Mack truck. Yes. Is, is that what you're telling me? Okay. More than usual, yes. I am hoping, though, like the... the It's like riding a bicycle. The muscle memory, For sure. Right? Oh, for sure. Absolutely gonna, that. Yeah. yeah. It's going to kick in. Because yeah. I've also been very, very busy, you know, being tech support for my children. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, attending my own work-related engagements. So uh, I haven't really had time to, like, brush up. So. <laughs> right. And then I'm, I'm tech-supporting her uh, when, you know, I, I'm tier two, basically. Mm. So when, when things need to be escalated, that's, you know, I have to step in as well. That's good. Uh, and, and it's not like I do it all day long for my normal job anyway. Right, but, yeah. right. But yeah, so um, as far as, like, prep goes, I actually had the, uh, let's, let's say luxury of uh, doing a, uh, a full band gig last weekend in Alabama. Right. Um, so that gig went. <laughs> it, uh, it started and it ended. Cool. And uh, there were songs played in the middle. Um, it, was a th- it was a throw together gig. And, you know, I don't think it was managed super well. It's none of my business. Um, but one of the cool things that did happen was the one of the guys that was in that group is a listener of the podcast. And if I'm being perfectly honest, he was easily the most competent of anybody uh, that I worked with. So not a coincidence, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't think so. Yeah. Chase Arrington, um, just out of Birmingham, great dude, great player. Um, thank you very much uh, for you know bringing it. Are, are you not going to talk about the Elvis impersonator? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> that was the highlight of all the stories that again. I got. So the um, the guitar player, there was a lead guitar player. Mm. Um, he is a professional Elvis impersonator. He is a young Elvis impersonator. Oh wow! So he's twenty six years old, and that's that was his like you know before all this hit. That's what he did. He he toured around with a with a group and did these theater gigs where they were where he played Elvis sweet it's really cool and, right it's really cool and you know the that his wheelhouse actually helped us out a lot because um you know all that all that oldie stuff was really you know on kind of in the wheelhouse that they were looking for it was like that in classic country and you know we had some of both but not enough of either mm. and um <laughs> you know we just kind of we kind of made do um but yeah that was that was an interesting thing he was he was an interesting person um, I mean, I don't know how you could be a a veteran Elvis impersonator in your mid twenties and not, right. you know. But a great guitar player too, good singer. Yeah, it was it was, it was something. That's I cool. have a question for you because we also played a wedding recently. Did you feel strangely weird and just utterly dirty afterwards? Um, so in our case, it was at a country club, and so I mean I, that it, it was a club in the country. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> not mine. It was not. It was. It was. You know, it was nice for Butler, Alabama, probably the nicest place in, in, in that city. Um, but it, it was all outside, everything. Oh, okay. So if I went inside, and actually the, the, the bathroom was the green room, um, which I, we didn't use, but it, like if it had been, we could have literally like set up tables and stuff and hung out in the bathroom if we wanted to. It was like one of those like old school like lounge, mm. like women's lounges. Yeah, yeah, like oh, they, women's lounge. But yeah, so I, if I was inside, I had a mask on and that was that. Yeah. Otherwise I was outside and I was away from people. So do you feel like that was fine and like everything was great because it was all outside and everybody just kind of did what they wanted? Well, I think I feel fine because we were away from people. No one was in our face. I didn't feel right. like I was in any sort of like direct line of fire Okay. for anyone. Good. Like even like the even the musicians like one was separated by like at least eight feet because there was like a pillar like right next to me, so I couldn't even I couldn't really move, and then everybody else was behind me. So the the wedding that we played was all indoors, two hundred something people, no masks, uh, no worries. But we we wore masks as musicians, and I right. just saw the uh, the like clearly twenty thousand dollar videographer video just came out, and it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen. And then they cut to the band and we all look stupid with masks on. And <laughs> it's just, well, it, it's, it's going to ruin, it's going to ruin that moment for the rest of, of watching that video. Maybe, you maybe know, you look smart like, with masks on. That could be. Maybe. Everyone's got that moment in their, in their wedding, right? Where you're like, <laughs> oh, this was clearly 15 years ago. This was clearly 20 years ago. Yeah. Yep. Like your, um, your like hairstyle your, gives you away. Well, yeah, my hairstyle, obviously. <laughs> um, her, like, 
her brother brought his high school girlfriend. Oh yeah. And she's in all the pictures. And uh, like, as far as I know, she like literally disappeared like maybe four days later, <laughs> never to be seen from again. Mm. That's not caught the garter and left. But yeah, you're, <laughs> there you go. You'd be like, oh, remember that time? Remember that time when we all wore masks? Remember, remember 2020. Remember 2020. Oh yeah, I do. <sighs> But yeah, we actually, I got an offer. I, I sent it to the guys in the back channel that uh, an offer to play a wedding on the 21st of November, completely indoors, no mask mania. I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Right. Nothing. Right. It's just not, yeah. It doesn't work. And I've got enough solo outdoor acoustic gigs for some weddings and stuff to make up for whatever I was going to make anyway. So, That's you good. know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to risk my situation. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling Thank good about you. that decision. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, when you think about like the conversations we've been having, um, it makes it, it brings it more into uh, into focus when you turn to stage left. Or mm. I'm sorry. Yeah. And there she is. So yeah. you, it makes it pretty easy. Like, do I feel safe? Does she feel safe? Do I feel safe with her being here? You know, those right. are those right. are all questions that you have to be able to answer. Yeah. Is it almost better that you're both there? Like instead of one of you going and one of you staying home, it's just like, there's no blame anymore. Like you're both there. So. And, and you both signed off on it for that to happen. Right. Yeah, so. you both signed off on this. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. So I will, want... you know, I'm so pumped for you though, that that first time back when your whole band is there, yeah, there, it's weird and everything feels strange. And then there's this moment right in the middle where you just go, Oh my God, this is <laughs> unbelievable. This is so yeah, awesome. awesome. I forgot and then it goes back to weird awesome. again. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have that about three minutes. Enjoy that three minutes and then everything's and then back to normal. It's all back to, yeah, that's great. That's I'm good. excited. That's good. Also terrified. Yep. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll I was have... like, what do I wear? Can I fit into it? <laughs> has my walking daily through this <laughs> pandemic, has it, you know, kept all the booze pounds off? Right. I mean, she's been doing <laughs> yoga just about as much as I have in it's working. That's all I can say. Thanks. You know? Thanks. So are we done? Or is it rap horn time? Yeah, yeah, horn? yeah. So that's the, we didn't set this up, but yeah, it's, this is a distraction cast, which means like, we're trying to keep our minds off of things. Thanks. And so, um, so we're, yeah, we're just going to sound the rap horn when it gets too music-y and heavy and I don't know, too real. Too real. Found it. There it is. Too real. I re-listened to the very first time I was on the episode with you guys. Oh, nice. And, and you did the rap horn, but I was also like fumbling with my phone to get the rap <laughs> horn and then I did it. You're like, I like this guy. He's awesome. <laughs> like rap horns. Rap <laughs> horns. We like rap yeah. horns. Yeah. It was actually a pretty good episode. What was that, like 80? Some. It was, yeah, it was well before 100. It was, earlier, it was earlier than that, I think. I don't know. I don't it's even know great, anymore. I just want to tell you, it's been a great journey. It's been really nice to know you guys. You too, man. It's been. It's you going somewhere? Yeah, really? <laughs> do you need? I'm going to work you, on a coal mining ship. Remember? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or do you need money? Chasing what's what's they happening? Call, they call that a callback. Callback. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's back. comedy. Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. So, um, what do we want to talk about now? Like, what are we watching? Because I I know you guys are going to be excited to hear what I'm watching. So yeah, let's let's start with what what are you watching? What are you watching? Amber, hit it. Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we've just completed a full rewatch of Cougar Town. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know Cougar Town, you need to immediately go and start watching it. It's amazing. So we've just wrapped that and there were some, some tears shed because it's over. But <laughs> six seasons, man. Just like, oh, listen, I got to tell you, it's awesome. Lighthearted. You want to talk about distraction. It's just, mm. it's something different. Just... Caffeine free diet cook. <sighs> it's good. <laughs> like my brain feels nice. It's good. Um, but in my personal time, I don't make Adam watch this. Personal time is what she means is pod, like when I'm podcasting. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Good. When this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in my personal time, I like to watch, um, the Facebook videos, right? Oh, did I just sound old? Oh the my Facebook God. Videos. The Facebook videos. He gives me such a hard time about this. Right. Anyway, there is, um, there is a, an influencer. I don't know what the actual terminology is, but her name is Bailey Sarian. And she, she does this, um, she does this series of murders and makeup. So she gets on there and she's doing all her looks and all that good stuff. And I know everyone who watches this podcast and listen to it is going to be super excited. <laughs> about yeah, they but, all turned, up, turned it off to go listen, watch videos. She's all, I, exactly. She's all tatted up. She's like just my, my flavor of 
of awesome, right? And she's married to an artist and they live out in LA or whatever, but she's just awesome. Like she's unapologetically her, um, but she does like all these awesome makeup looks, but it's paired together with real life murder stories. Cool. And I'm like, and then what happened? So it's <laughs> a makeup tutorial slash true crime. Yes. Video series. That's pretty Very awesome. Very fascinating. That's pretty Bailey awesome. Bailey Searing, you have to look her up. And, and you'll also be able to do like, an awesome winged cat eye. You'll you'll love it. <laughs> hey, there, I would know, recommend it, guys. For, for our crucial. '80s band brethren, you know, working on working on their eye eye makeup is, is a you know a marketable skill. Yeah, when so. we all start yeah. our and poison between, tribute, we'll be ready to go. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And between uh, you know murder makeup, Cougar Town, I also like to throw in um, podcast listening for things like Milk Street and the Splendid Table. All of my you know public television, public radio. Um, podcast around food because I'm just I love food all of it I like cooking it sometimes I like eating it all the time most times it's great so that's me that's good and then we just we just started uh, Shit's Creek from the beginning yes yes Which we're late to the game it's one of my super favorites I'm totally excited you guys are doing that yeah I, I mean I will do a book report or not a book report but a a show report it's so good yeah very quotable love it oh yeah <laughs> you david i i had a thought today actually you know how the normal human behavior is to if you find something good you don't want anyone else to know about it because you want it to be yours and you don't want to share it because it's like you right. want to be the only one that knew it when it was cool <laughs> but why is it so different for tv series like nowadays you have you have to like if you see something you go you have the same conversation you go have you seen this and they go no and you go you have to watch you yeah. have to watch yeah yeah so it's the same mentality but it's like you want to be the one to make sure that they saw it so absolutely yes. no absolutely you want to be the influencer you want to be the yes. the, the one who, who who channels for instance for instance um we have just finished watching ratchet Okay. I to watch it, but you I'm have to watch to. it. All right, you have to watch it. Be because, partially, it. partially because I'm a huge Ryan Murphy fan, and so I've totally loved yeah. e even the crappy seasons of American Horror Story. I've adored, and um, this is—it's like a great season of American Horror Story, um, and it's one of the most beautiful things ever put on TV since Hannibal, I think. Um, yeah. And it is like—it's a noir. It's a '40s noir film, and the music cool. is a perfect noir sort of gorgeous, you know, uh, it's just, it's just, and gory and horrific and, you know, m murders in every episode, but um, boy, is it good. If you can get past that. Yeah. Like yeah. If you can just keep your stomach, you'll be fine. And, and, and it's, and the, um, I actually am, I'm friends with um, casual friends with a woman who is a designer and worked on that show and has worked on several seasons of American Horror Story. Um, so uh, w once it airs, she starts posting on her Insta like all these back, you know, d design drawings and stuff. They're like a little piece of insight into into the thinking of the costume work. And um, but yes, I'm a huge fan of that. Huge fan of that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Mike? Uh, man, I'm all over the place. I am. I'm more one to rewatch things than I am to find something new. Uh, and I'm a I'm a super spoopy guy. I love October. You know, it's uh, oh yeah. So I actually knew in my brain that I was going to rewatch Stranger Things yes. starting in October. Yes. That's a good and idea. I'm telling you, like, still for my money, it's still one of the best series of all time. Oh, I good, can't, right? I can't wait for it. The, the soundtrack's unreal. Yeah. The acting. Uh, I'm also, I also want to go on record as saying I was one of the first people in the entire world to watch Cobra Kai before it became famous. I okay. actually paid for the YouTube Red. The YouTube Red. Oh, wow. All right. Oh. And I've been telling people, you got to watch it's so it. so good. You gotta you watch gotta it. Watch it really it. is good. Hey, they're like, hey. why would I get YouTube bread? That's stupid. And so, now you have it. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and like one up you on this whole thing. So, um, when I was still playing original music, we did a tour with a band called no more Kings yes. and they did uh, a song off of their debut album called sweet the leg. Mm -hmm. cool. And it was, it's literally the plot of that show. Of, so of it, Cobra Kai? Wow. Yes, the song is 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 sung from Johnny's perspective. Johnny's perspective. Huh. William Zabka is in the video. Oh, dude, you and know what I've seen? That. I've totally seen that before. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's there was cool. a band from Chicago called Sweep the Leg Johnny mm -hmm. uh, from way back in the day. I mean, there's so much reference yeah. to that culture, and it's all coming back now. I love it. It's awesome. Well, and the funny thing <laughs> is, is that now that you've come full circle, like you go back and like you're like, wait, 
was Daniel the villain in this thing right. the whole time? Totally. It's such a wild concept. But it, it's funny. I, I was thinking about, I, I was in some movie subreddit and they were talking about like, you know, as an adult, when you look back, like if you watch Top Gun again, yeah. Iceman was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maverick's a terrible pilot. Yeah. Yeah. He's completely dangerous. He should have been court. Yes, like, he should have. Yes. That. He got him. He, yeah. He totally, he got his partner. He killed, he killed his, Goose. His, yes. He killed Goose. He killed him. Yeah. Listen, this is his soapbox. He will, he will. <laughs> This, you're getting behind the curtain here. Uh, this is behind the curtain. This is every no, single every week. Reason. No, this I'm is serious. Conversation. <laughs> it, but it goes beyond just your little powwow here. I mean, it goes out into the other areas of his life. He will be like, you know. <laughs> no, if you, you know. rewatch Top Gun, that's right. Iron Man was right. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Oh, he'll also do the reverse though, where it's like, have you seen Finding Nemo as a father? Oh, you yeah. know, don't like, do that. <laughs> no. Don't do that. No, no. Do you but, guys, I, I know some of you, I know you guys are uh, younger, but Dan, I think we're about the same age. Maybe, maybe we're all, do you remember Real Genius? With oh, Val yeah. Kermit? Oh, yeah. Yes. So no. did you know, and that's a fantastic movie. Yes. Uh, did you, you need know to rewatch that, that one. That goes yes. on. I do. It's been a long time. The guy in the closet, Laszlo. Remember uh -huh. Laszlo? Yeah. The yeah. creepy yeah. guy in the closet. Yeah. Do you know that's Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Wow. How you about see that? Adam? He's like, what? Uncle what? Rico. Uncle dude. Rico. I can throw now this football over that have mountain. To go back and watch it. <laughs> wow. Uh, I have an interesting thing to tell you guys about. All right. Uh, I, I've dabbled in the podcast world. You know what I mean? Um, I have finally found my cover band central podcast. Like my, I do the Iowa music band, but that's so local. I found yeah. my, I found my worldwide one. We're, it actually dropped today, an intro episode. It's called The Confused Breakfast. And all we do is we go back right. and we reevaluate movies from the 80s, 90s from a from a, a an eye of today wow. and like a, a really technical eye. And and we uh you want to know what our first two are? They haven't dropped yet. Okay. Hocus Pocus nice. for Halloween yes, season. Good. Yes. And Beetlejuice to end yes. good. out October. That's so good. I'm pretty pumped about it. You guys can add it right now. Confused we will, breakfast. Well, I will, I will absolutely dope. do that. Here's, here's, listen, if you go back and prove that Goonies really do say die, I'm coming after you. <laughs> just just take a pass on that one. Don't. No, no we're going Goonies. I'm not going to go. That. Goonies is my favorite. I know. So I, I, I know. got nothing but positive things no. to say. All right. Good enough for you. All right. Well, <laughs> that, that's a great segue because we, we talked about what we were watching. Okay. And, you know, you kind of talked a little bit about it and then he kind of eased into that so what are we listening to oh. let's let's do let's talk some music stuff maybe that we've found that we think is pretty cool and then uh any podcast or whatever that uh you are, are are digging at the moment i'll start you on the listening uh i'm i'm way down there's two things i go after uh one is a timing thing it's fall so i you got to find those fall vibes you know what i mean mm -hmm. and a lot of times that is old stuff for me Pete Yorn, Music for the Morning After, wow. is is one of the absolute all-time fall albums for me. And maybe it's just because that's when I first heard it, is it associates that time of my life. Uh, but that album usually goes on repeat in October. And uh, I've been on a Mac Miller kick lately. Mac Miller uh, being like the original emo hip hopper of the world. Yeah. I'm going to have to start thinking about like what I want to listen to. Cause I, I do that with like winter time, Christmas, yep. you know, yeah. but yep. why not fall? I'm thinking Nora Jones. Like that's okay. the first thing that pops into my head totally. for fall. I'm like, it's gotta yeah. be chill. It's just gotta be relaxing. Yeah. 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 Well, like in our house, like 90% of the time it's either oldies or big band jazz. That's oh, just yes. like, that's what's playing in the background. Most of, most of the time. Yeah. Unless you want to hear something specific. Which is usually about space unicorns or it raining tacos. Yeah. Yeah. We no, that we have a lot of that too. You know what? I sat my kid down and we we listened through um, Sergeant Pepper's. Ooh. She's seven and she made it. She made it through and with a lot of questions, a lot of she, made it she did. It was tough. It was tough. Well, and I put it up on the Apple TV, so it was playing the lyrics, and she's right at the edge of being able to read that fast. I mean, she, you know, she's picking words apart, but you know, so. She's, asking some things about what the lyrics were that I had to tap dance in a couple of places. But, um, <laughs> but you know, she left real clear that Lennon and McCartney, finest songwriters ever, ever lived, you know, they, she got that whole picture. It was really good. Um, I'll tell you, I, I have been prompted by my web app, setlister.ai, um, going down these um, rabbit holes about particular artists. I went down a Cat Stevens rabbit hole. 
um, yeah. which was just deeply satisfying. It's been years since I really dug deep on him. Um, amazing, amazing. Um, and a few others. He was sort of he was sort of my and I was looking for stuff to mix up with acoustic gigs and stuff I could fit, you know be self indulgent with a little bit, but have people would enjoy. And um, um, I'm pretty sure I could be self indulgent with him. I think. The enjoy might be, I don't know, a little iffy in some some cases. He's got had a couple of big hits that would be fine, but um, anyway, that was that was pretty good. It was a pretty good deep dive. I also went deep on um, Talking Heads. Yeah, that's a little too deep for me. Is it? <laughs> that's I real. gotta stay like yeah. right on the right on the surface of Talking Heads. Oh, did I get? Yeah. <laughs> well, that one that one for sure. But then I found myself uh, uh, running down the street singing uh, "Sugar on My Tongue," which is a good one. I don't know if you know that one, but it's not a surface cut of <laughs> talking heads. Yeah. yeah. All right. So rabbit holes. Um, what? So in relation to the all the oldies we've been listening to, so it's lots of Little Richard, but the one that like I keep I'm really into right now is "You Can't Sit Down" by the Devels. Um, and I I don't know if you it, you should look it up because it's a fun song, mm-hmm. and. I, I, I was looking for it on YouTube and then I realized that Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band would play that on their encore during the 1977 tour that they did. Huh. And then I fell down a rabbit hole of just watching bootlegs of Bruce Springsteen playing that song. <laughs> nice. Just over and Philly, over. Cool. In Jersey. Cool. In whatever. But it's it's just a fun song. Um and what about podcasts? I mean, I could I could go on all day about actually, you know what? I'll start since I've kind of deferred. Um Things that I'm listening to uh, a lot. Uh, all of the crooked media stuff, so Pod Save America, yeah. Love It or Leave It, uh, Pod Save the World, all of those. Um, true crime stuff, uh, Last Podcast on the Left, uh, My Favorite Murder, uh, The Fall Line, which is a really good one, kind of based around like Southern cases and stuff in Georgia. Uh, and then <laughs> there's this new one called Racket, which uh, for those of you who live in the Atlanta area is all about the Gold Club, which was this like really like legendary strip club in like the late nineties hmm. and their downfall. It w- I just remember being tied up with the, with the Olympics and stuff. Hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of what else those are like the big ones. Oh, um, blood on the tracks, which is a uh, oh, double there's, Elvis. There's a cat. Uh, podcast yeah. about uh, Phil Spector and cool. You know what a completely demented person he was or is. My podcast listening is way down because I um, I'm not commuting right now, so that was like my main time. So um, that's way way down. I will say the new um, uh, books, um, brain cramp, audio books. Yes, audio books. Um, the the Jim Butcher, the um, wizard in Chicago. Um, uh, I know this guy. I love his stuff. It's been years. Come back to me. I'll Google it. Okay. Okay. Well, um, books. I, I... Oh, we're, we're not doing podcasts? No, we're doing podcasts. Oh, we're just doing podcasts? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, I already got that. Dresden yeah. Files! Um, <laughs> there, you go. there it is. I'm so glad that came for you because that, like, I would... It was hard. It was hard. I had a hard moment there. That. Anyway. That would be like a 2 a.m. moment. How it was going to be. So new ones are out, and um, um, we've been doing the podcast, the, the audio book of that, so I'm looking forward to it. We haven't started that yet. Cool. Yeah. Well, I've I've already said that I listen to like just so we already, many food things. Yeah, Milk Street, all of them. Blended Table. I can cook almost anything now. Nice. When she's got like her mom podcasts. Yeah, but sometimes I just, mom casts. Uh, it depends. That? Sometimes I'm like, yeah, no, we're not on the same page. <laughs> I'm just a different kind of. Mom. I'm just gonna That's whip all. that kid. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Oh Anywho, God. all right. <laughs> wait, uh, wait! Don't shake the baby. Uh, don't, don't. <laughs> You're going to want to shake this baby. <laughs> Refrain. Yes. I have right. two for you. One, okay. one that every musician uh, should enjoy. It's called the trap set with Joe Wong. Have you guys ever listened to that? Mm-mm. It's, it's all, it's mostly this guy interviewing drummers, very famous drummers, which you would think would kind of isolate yourself to just a drummer. But um, I've heard from many guitar players and singers that, that it's just incredible to listen mm-hmm. to, drummers explain the the formation of the band and all that stuff so that's a great one uh and also uh do you know theo vaughn the comedian yeah i don't know so i saw him 
Saturday night in Cedar Rapids at an amphitheater, oh, 1200 wow. people in a normally a 5,000 person amphitheater. They socially distant it, seated everybody. It was unbelievable. He was hilarious. And he has a podcast called uh, this past weekend. Mm-hmm. And it's usually just him rambling yeah. and it's amazing. It's amazing. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I yeah, found yeah. that one uh, because I found his, uh, his whole thing, like the, the section about him talking about getting sober. Yeah. And it was like a really cool. like powerful video um and then i listen to it every now and then well that that first time i ever heard him was his pretty i think it was kind of his bit that made him famous when he was on some comedy central show where he told the 20 minute long story about the last time he did cocaine yep and it's one of the most oh my god (laughs) it's one of the funniest most amazing stories you'll ever listen to if if you need to kill like days on youtube you should uh look up the this is not happening Yes. Video series on that's, YouTube. That's on the Comic one. Central. Exactly. Yeah. This is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> you know what? Hey, maybe we take that and we let different musicians in our group tell a, a 15 minute story of, of a gig that went completely wrong in some situation like oh that. Gosh. We'll call it this is not happening. We've Musician. done we've I'm done gigs from heck. Hives thinking about that. Yeah. We tried yeah. gigs from heck. We didn't we, weirdly enough, people have not divulged those. If you were out there and you have a oh, terrible gig you want to share, you really gotta hit us up coverbandconfidential at gmail.com let us know i really do think the two we shared were the were the cappers of the like the worst of the whole they were pretty bad they were pretty bad man like no one died no that's that's true i mean died on stage that's a different thing oh do you guys know who who colonel bruce hampton is no he was like a he was in the aquarium rescue community he was like this super weird like jam bandy guitar player but like legendary in that jam world um my my sister was he so the the story was he died on stage at the fox theater in atlanta at his birthday party wow jesus and they were there but they left early so she didn't actually i i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing (sighs) yeah but the problem was is that like he was such a weird guy that like him keeling over during the show people just thought he was doing a bit right right that's how many times we heard of that like a, a comedian who like has a sudden massive heart attack and flops over and the audience goes wild. Hilarious. Yeah. Well, it's like, and you know, being the morbid person that I am, I'm thinking like, as he's like drifting off, did he like have a moment of reflection and go, God, I wish I wasn't so weird all this time. <laughs> like, is that, I don't, I don't think that's what he was thinking. When well, you go out to applause, like if you're a comedian, like wouldn't I that guess. be how better, right? How better? Oh, I don't think I can think about that. Right, hang one on. Thing wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. No, no, we got to deal with this. Hang on one second here. What are we doing? This just got too dark, too heavy, man. It's a distraction okay. cast. Yeah. Well, can thing. I can I go dark for one more thing? Okay, please? sure. Yeah. Very important. Oh, okay. Have you seen? <laughs> have you seen the social dilemma yet? No. Oh, oh, oh. So, real talk. I want to watch this, but this sounds like something that's going to create like an argument in my family. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, so my wife and I do not have children, and we watched it last night, and um, it. it thoroughly disturbed us in fact today has been a brand new day the first time in our lives we've been like we feel free but we also mentioned that this has to be one of the worst things you can watch if you have children Mm. because because they are they're screwed i mean like they're they're screwed when it comes to trying to get off i i at least lived 20 years on this planet without a cell phone like i know what it was like before before stuff and but like they don't and they're never going to know what it was like. You you have to, I, I don't want to do that thing and go, you have to watch it, but oh my God, it, it should be required so viewing for the entire planet right now. Yeah. All right, Dan, hit the button. All right. Okay. Well, well I have some go. good news about exactly that though. Um, because, um, you know, in my, when I'm not being a musician or a podcaster, I'm a product manager. So I make decisions about software product that I am in charge of. Mm-hmm. And, in product management circles, that movie has prompted a really serious conversation about ethics and mm-hmm. um, product design decisions that are um, um, socially constructive. And um, so there is some backlash coming, I think, to some of that, although there's so much inertia and money behind it staying the way it is. It's, you know. The, the, way, they br- the way they break it down to you to show you how it works is mind blowing. Yeah. It's yeah. scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. But watch it. I mean, it should be required. It's it's a very important documentary. It's very important. Yeah. It's very important, Adam Johnson. Yeah. No, for for me too. <laughs> like, 
I'm for Mike. Worst. It's important for Mike. Okay. It's yeah, important. It's also important. Don't take Thank this you. moment away from me. Really, <laughs> Mike's taking a stand here. He's on his his uh, he's on his box. So we can transition. Like, is anybody reading anything? Like, no, I don't read books of any kind. I read emails. You know what? I am reading, um, and it's my second time through it, the um, Sandman comics from Neil Gaiman. Um, okay. which are amazing. Um, if you are a comic reader or a graphic novel reader, they're, they're, um, kind of seminal. It's, it's really great stuff. Uh Oh, uh Oh, Uh-oh. hold on one second. Okay. We dropped our camera feed just a moment. You did. Oh no. Yeah. It's all, oh, it's all dark down there in Atlanta. Wow. The lights went out in Atlanta. Well, now's a great time to tell you about my favorite author, uh, Frederick Nietzsche. Oh no. Have you read him? Yeah. Cause you have to read, I have him, to please. read him. Nietzsche. Nietzsche. No, I'm just joking. Uh, are you guys good? You back in there? Yeah, I just switched to another camera. No big deal. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't feel like I look as nice Well, in this camera. The battery on the GoPro off. died, and, and I could sit there, and I could plug it in okay, and wait fine. for the chargers, well, or we could do this. Um, So I, I don't read, and I know everyone's going to be you know, appalled by that. There's actually a Cougar Town <laughs> episode about that. <laughs> That's so relevant. No, there's um, a book of Cougar Town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I do listen to audiobooks. And because I'm not um, commuting as much, like Dan was saying, yeah. you know, it's it's down a bit. But um, I've listened to a couple of them. Um, there was one, it's the Rob Lowe one, I think was the last one that I was just like, holy cow. He's handsome. Oh, he is. He, his book is handsome. His book is handsome. <laughs> his voice is handsome. He's just very handsome. We, um, yeah, we've been listening to basically like famous people tell yeah. funny story yeah, books. That's good. Yeah. We're Amy on like Poehler. four or five of them. Amy Poehler was good. The, my favorite yes, out of please. all of them was uh, A Very Punchable Face by Colin Jost. Hmm. It's fantastic. Hmm. It's yeah. really good. Super funny. Speaking of uh, famous people telling stories, uh, Howard Stern's newest book, Howard Stern Comes Again is all uh, transcripts of his favorite interviews Ooh. he's done over the last decade mm -hmm. uh, with very, very few. And if you know Howard Stern, celebrities do not open up the way they open up to Howard Stern. They, they don't open that way to anyone else. So the stuff they say, yeah. uh, like you've never, you could have never imagined. Mm. Uh, that's crazy. And, and so it's just transcripts of, of everything, of his favorite interviews. And that's a, that's a really good one. Cool. Maybe there's an audio book. There needs to be, because need, otherwise... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not just not, listening to the radio happen. show. Yeah, let's just listen to the radio. Must be. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I just find that a lot of times, uh, because I, in my line of work, there's a lot of emails, there's a lot of contracts, there's a lot of, you know, scope and solution documents and all these technical specifications. It's like, I'm reading all this all day long. Like, why would I spend my spare time reading? I just, I just won't. I, I was an English major in college. Me so too. For about... For about 10 years after college, I didn't read anything. It's all it, good here. Yeah. It was, yeah, I, I read, already read it. I've read it. Yeah. I've yeah. read it. Yeah. Whatever it is, I've read it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else uh, that you guys ha are currently doing that makes you not want to uh, walk into the ocean? I have another TV show I'm super into right now. Okay. Raised by Wolves. Raised by wolves. Yeah. What is it on? Um, I don't. Uh, my TV, from which um, I play f videos on, that on I acquire in okay. a variety of dubious fashions. Um, gotcha. Okay, never mind. Uh, Sorry. So I can't. I think it's. I don't even know where it comes from. Um, but it is. Uh, <laughs> Man, it's Does good. Does this show even exist? It, I don't know. I, I might have hallucinated it. No. And if, if I had, it would make a lot of sense because it's a sci-fi show about um, this uh, – these kids being raised by two androids, mother and father android, and it's not going great. And um, they're refugees from Earth that has uh, been collapsed and been in war. And uh, it's so good. It's, it's like the best sci-fi show maybe since uh, uh, The Expanse, maybe since okay. BSG before that. Um, super good. If you're into sci-fi, recommend yeah. Raised by Wolves. There's a new uh, season of The Great British Bake Off. We've been watching yes. that. Love that. Ooh. Love Dude, we just did right. The Great Pottery Throw Off, right? <laughs> Which is what now? essentially The Great British Bake Off, but in pottery and wheel throwing and hand building of pottery. That. It's so good. It's great. We watched we watched I one that was that. like chopped, but it was it was glass blowers. Yes. Oh, I've seen that too. That's good. Yeah. I don't remember the name of it, but yeah, and I was like, you got to see this. It was this a punny. Amazing. Yeah. Super punny. It's and yeah. it turns out you break a lot of glass when you're a glass blower. It's like a whole yep. thing. You sweat. Yeah, you sweat like crazy. Sweat. Yeah. 
Sounds yeah. like ew. Yeah. And uh, everybody's insufferable. That's true. They're horrible. They're horrible They're people. Really hot, turns though. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not hot, attractive, but like. Well, both. Sweating. Very yeah. well. Sweaty. And then, you know, Nailed It, if you guys don't ever watch that. Nailed It is like, the best. Nailed It is like our favorite. Nailed It is the best. And very seven-year-old friendly. Oh, our kids. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. Love our it. kids love it. love it. Well, and we're in this weird season right now with our 10-year-old where it's like, how can we find something that we, the three of us, can watch yeah. together? And sometimes <laughs> I'm we get like 10 minutes into our show and I'm like, whoop. Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, but hold on a second, though. Like, what we've been revisiting in this new podcast is how all these jokes and things went right over your head as a kid True. where you did not you had yeah. no True. like we talked about hocus pocus all the vert all the, all virgin, the virgin talk, talk. Yeah. in a Disney movie yeah, yeah i know and, and he goes uh the bus driver goes what do you ladies desire and she says children and he says well it might take me a few tries but yeah. i'll get the hang of it, it just goes, whoop, whoop, right over the head yeah right yeah. over your head yeah. but it seems like uh i think we were watching the goldbergs and that one's pretty good, pretty safe. Um, and then, but like Bob's Burgers, tough. Yeah, that like one's tough. Miss. Yeah, yeah. It's like a uh... well, because because <laughs> the the language is kind of is the problem because you know it's it's basically like a mm-hmm. you know whatever like a PG thirteen TV show. Yeah, right. So, but like the fart song is a big <laughs> big, big hit in our house. I'm sure. <laughs> fart, 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 fart. <laughs> Every fart is a work of a, yeah. The fact that you give up that much brain space. To stuff it's like that, that gas from you. No, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Yep. All right. Last question. You ready? Do yep. It. Desert Island. You're stranded there by yourself, but there is a TV and a DVD player. Ooh. You only have one movie. You're stranded there for 20 years. What is that movie? You get to pick it. Bridget Jones's Diary. That was easy. That was so easy. I'm going to have to think about this one. Me too. I, I toy with it, but I think I'm pretty sure it's the Big Lebowski. Wet Hot American Summer. I'd see, yeah, that's on the that's on the top five for sure, guaranteed. But you only get one, man. But you only get one, so it has. To... I think uh, the filter for that is like, remember when TBS? I don't have cable anymore, but remember when TBS used to like play the movies over and over and over uh, again? Josh you know? Redemption. Yep. Sure. Oh, yeah. uh, but it was Christmas like, story. you've got mail or a Christmas story yeah. or like these things that it didn't matter when you actually turn the TV on and what part of the movie it is in you're, you, you stop and you watch it. Right. right. So that's the filter by which you got to make your decision. No matter what you're going to watch this movie. It yeah. might be, yeah, it, yeah. it could be the Cohen, the Cohen reference is prompting me, but, but what's coming to mind is Fargo. Okay. Fargo. Yeah. Okay. A little dark. A little dark. I, I, I clearly have no problem dark. with that. It's you know, but it's like it's so many moments of it. So many little moments of it are so genius. Yeah. That's fair. So, you, you know, as for, you were talking about the thing about like it always being on TV. That reminds me of like Airheads on Comedy Central. It's like yes, always, right, it was always constantly. On. Um, and that's uh, that was one of my favorite jokes that uh, John Mulaney and uh, Nick Kroll did at like one of the Independent Spirits. So, like, you know, what the greatest show is on television. They're like Father of the Bride on TNT. They go, yes, yes but. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, it's classic. Yep. I ain't farting on no snare drum. I ain't farting on no snare drum. My Strap, my old yes. our, our, <laughs> my roommate in college would always be like, "Quit necking on me, you fems." We would just like always quote that movie for no good reason. What's some of the worst? You remember like the TV when they would do the edits on, mm-hmm. on TV and you're like, how are they going to edit through this? This is what happens when you find a stranger. Find in a stranger the Alps. In the Alps. And then when you find a stranger in All the right, Alps. Here's my yeah. favorite. Here's my favorite of those. Um, in police Academy, a line becomes um, one? the first one. Um, okay. You remember the, the, um, the, the big guy with the huge gun. I don't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Um, Murtog? No, no. Uh, no, I don't know. Anyway, they're doing some scenario where they're stopping a, a burglar and he yeah. draws on him and he says on TV, freeze before I blow your gosh darn knees off, egg roll. Egg roll. <laughs> egg roll. Yes. It's brilliant. Those are good. It's excellent. Uh, my favorite's from Major League when, okay. the dude, when the dude walks up to Vaughn and he goes, in the movie he says, strike this motherfucker out. In the TV version it goes, strike this guy out <laughs> just a big boss guy out <laughs> that's pretty awesome. this guy out <laughs> when you yeah, hear the edit it's completely a different when you person. hear the edit something <laughs> the was, something wasn't great yeah yeah that's awesome cool. guys 
Are you distracted? Fully yeah, distracted. This is perfect. I'm super exactly what I needed. Yep. I feel like I need to go watch Cougar Town again. <laughs> I clearly need we'll to watch it for the first we'll time, and I will. I will. I will watch we need it. To. I... We're gonna listen. Here's my commitment to you, Dan. We are going to finish Shit's Creek, and then we're gonna talk about it. Excellent. And I'll and we'll like a, we'll do a and then you gotta do Shit's Creek Cougar Town crossover compare of notes. Okay. I only know the um, Cougar Town really by point. the touch points to it from Community and Scrubs. Mm. If I never watched Scrubs either. Person, really. I it's been, like yeah. all over the place, but yeah, there's some touch points from Community. It's it's great. Uh, just yeah, great. just with, with just Abed, just like in right. the background. Yeah, genius. He's like right into the Yeah, screen. so good. Yeah. So good. We're, we're actually kind of slowly going back through community as well. Not not quite as feverish. Yeah. yeah, love community. Guys, this this was this was good. We needed this. This was good. We needed this. We're so good. distracted. That's so it's good. A, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's not great. <laughs> it's good. But it's better but than it's, good. It's good. It's good. Not quite great. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Oh boy. Yeah. 2020. This was fun. Grid. It was grid. Yes. I'm sure you'll have the graphic ready to go in the back channel by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Right. Yep. yep. Oh boy. <laughs> These guys they uh they have to suffer through my I don't know. I don't know who has to deal these with my guys. Team. Yeah, well, <laughs> these guys. Like this entire, this entire. All three of these guys. guys these gender neutral my guys. My favorite, just to like lay on the plane here, is hey, babe, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you and my wife would get along very well. Let's yeah. just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. I totally mocked something up and sent it to to them. I sent four different variations, and I was like, "What do you guys think?" And like, it was basically like none of them. <laughs> yeah, I at least picked one just because. I didn't. I refused. Like, I refused. I saw right through it cans. immediately. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was like, as in you didn't like any of them? Well, <laughs> well, I think your answer was four. I guess. So, yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Well, it's been a pleasure. This Always. was awesome. Thanks yeah. for Very letting good. me uh, join and yeah. distract. It's yeah. been good, guys. Been good. <laughs> so good. It's all good. The next time that uh, Adam and Dan both cannot make an episode, uh, yeah. then we shall do it. Yeah, we'll there just you do go. it. There you go. We'll, we'll do it. It'll it. be great. Love it. It'll just be us talking shit the whole time. It'll be awesome. Love it. I think it'll be great. I'm really good at that. Let's do it. <laughs> cool. Okay. Perfect. Well. That's going to do it for this week. I don't think this one's going to make it to YouTube, but it'll definitely be <laughs> out later tonight yeah, on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, guys, thanks for your uh, continued support. Did we have anybody tune in on the live stream? Some or people, is it just yeah. People just... No, some people. No one. No some one's commenting people. though. They're just like there are, but I've lost the context, and so like, hi everyone. Well, there you go. How about that. I don't know. Fantastic. Yeah. Guys, thanks for your continued support. You can check out all the things that Dan's about to talk to you know talk to you about, and um, the best way you can support us is to review. Uh, the podcast on the platform of your choice and share it on your social media because Spotify doesn't help us and Apple doesn't help us and Stitcher doesn't help us, but you guys can. So do that. That will do it for this week though. From Atlanta, Georgia, I'm Adam Johnson. I'm Amber Johnson. From Greensboro, North Carolina, I'm Dan Ray. Cedar Rapids, I'm Mike Schulte. You guys have been listening to the Cover Band Confidential Podcast, episode 122. Have a great week. <laughs>